my friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and today my lilies came in. Now I order my lilies wholesale from a company called Awnings America. They're located in California. So I bought uh, a couple different varieties, and then I also purchased a mix. And this year, because last season I had such a problem with the red lily beetle, it's a serious issue up here in the Northeast, and it's actually like making its way so to the Southern states that I decided that this year I'm planting all of my lilies in crates. Now this is a bulb crate. Lily crates are a little bit taller. The tulip crates are a little bit shorter. So I'm using a lily crate today. And actually I can feel it. There is a crate inside this box. So when you order, people always ask me, where do you get your crates? Well, I just get them from ordering bulbs and tulips and stuff like that. So, oh my gosh. <sighs> Taking this off first. Okay, so I don't know what this variety is, and it's usually, okay, Bowl of Beauty. So this is the Bowl of Beauty. It's an oriental double flowering, like a rose lily, and I'm so excited about growing these. So I've never grown specific varieties before. I usually grow a mix or maybe small quantities of specific varieties, but in this there are 200 bulbs of just the bowl of beauty. So I can fit probably 20 in a crate. So like I said, going back before, I'm growing in the bulb crate this year because of that lily beetle. It just decimates the entire plant. So what I decided is I can move these crates into the hoop house and if I have to, cover it with some bug netting. That way, with any luck, the red lily beetle doesn't even know that I have lilies here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this crate. This is exciting because I love any extra crates are amazing. I use crates for so much. I use crates to store, there we go. I use crates to store my dahlias. I use crates to start lilies, start tulips. You can plant a lot of things in crates. There is a plastic bag inside here and then the bowl of beauties are like this. They have their roots are already started and these actually are starting to grow. Now lilies are stored frozen at the supplier and then they come to you right out of the freezer. So I'm gonna be succession planting my lilies which means I'm gonna plant probably 40 of these now and then wait a couple weeks or maybe 10 days and plant another 40 and then so on and so forth until they're all gone. In the meantime, I do need to store these cold between 35 and 38 degrees. Otherwise they will try to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and get this prepped and ready to go. And then I start planting lilies and crates. Okay. So I have my crate. This is an old crate. So on the bottom of the crate, I just put two paper bags. I have a ton of paper bags sitting around. So on top of the paper bags, and you can use newspaper, you can use the, un the grocery store flyer, anything like that. And I just put it on the bottom just so stuff doesn't come out the bottom. Stuff will come out the sides unless you line the sides. I don't think that's necessary. So I'm not going to do it because they are going to be outside uh, very soon. So on top of the paper bags, I'm gonna put an inch or two of my potting soil and then I'm gonna place the lilies on top of that. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a layer of soil I need more soil and knowing that I was going to be growing my lilies in crates is one of the reasons why I ordered that giant enormous thing of compost that I have that so many of you guys has seen have seen and commented on in my videos okay so I have a couple of inches in the crate like that. And now I'm just going to take the lilies and nestle them in. I'm gonna go four down and then probably five across. Okay, so I have 20 lilies in this crate and you wanna put about five inches of soil on top of them. That way they really put up some strong stems. Now, depending on the variety, lilies will bloom between nine and 12 weeks after you plant them. 
So the Orientals are the scented lilies. They have a really high scent. Some people cannot handle them, but also the Bowl of Beauty is a pollen free variety. And I wanted to make sure that I got that because some people have big sensitivity to the lily pollen, but also you should remind your customers that lilies, all parts are toxic to cats. So you want to make sure that your customers know that lilies are toxic. So that if they have even a dog at home, you want to avoid them, you know, putting it there. It's always a good idea to remind your customers of the toxicity of any of the flowers that you plant. And even if there isn't like a known toxic plant, you know, just people should just be aware that any sort of flower people can have an allergic reaction to. So just be mindful of that when you're bringing flowers into your home. Okay, so this will be the final top off of potting soil for this crate. Now lilies are some of my most requested focal flower when it comes to my summer bouquets and people really love them. I do have a few customers who request no lilies in their bouquets because of obviously they have cats at home. After you fill your potting soil and the lilies are covered with five at least inches of soil, you want to water this very thoroughly. I'm going to be putting it on the back of the Kubota. That way I don't have to transfer it by hand because these are pretty heavy when they get full, you know, and especially after you water it, they're going to be heavier. I mean, I mean, it's probably 30 pounds right now. It's not hugely heavy, but it's pretty heavy. So I'm actually going to keep them in the garage for a couple of days, let the roots establish before I put them out in the hoop house because the hoop house can get quite warm quite quickly during the day. So I'm going to let them sit in the garage for a couple of days, get really comfortable in their soil, and then I'm going to bring them out to the hoop house. I'm just going to set it down in the aisle. The only room that I have is the aisle. That's the only space that I have in there. So I'm going to tuck them way in the back of the hoop house in the aisle where I don't really have to go. So. It should be fun to watch this experiment happen. And if this is successful, then uh, I'll be using this method for years to come. And oh, by the way, um, you might wonder, are these bulbs one and done? Well, they're not, but they are for me, if that makes sense. So what's gonna happen with these bulbs at the end of the year is I'm gonna offer them for sale for my customers to plant in their landscape for blooming next spring. They will come back if they're planted in the ground because lilies do require a, a cold period. So I'm gonna offer these bulbs to my customers, let them plant them in the ground this fall, and then they can have beautiful lilies in their yard. And then I will order uh, new bulbs for the spring. I do also offer bulbs for sale right now in the springtime with my seedling sale. I will offer 30 or 40 bulbs up for sale if people come and they would like to purchase a, a bag of five. I usually offer bags of five. And uh, last year I was able to pay for my entire Lily order by just selling some to my customers at my seedling sale. So yeah, it really does pay off. So I have 20 bowl of beauties and then I'm gonna have the other lilies. Let me tell you guys what else I ordered. So the other Oriental I ordered, I actually ordered one called Amistad, but that ended up being out of stock. So they, the supplier reached out to me and said, would you consider Curiosity as a substitute? And I looked up Curiosity. It was the same light pink rose lily, beautiful. I said, sure, send me Curiosity. So that is the other Oriental lily that I have. Those are my two most requested colors when it comes to lilies, especially from florists. They use a lot of white lilies in arrangements and that's my number one requested lily from my florist. So I wanted to make sure that I had those, which is why I ordered the Bowl of Beauty. So I'm only gonna do one crate of Bowl of Beauty, one crate of Curiosity, and then another crate of an Asiatic lily. Actually, I think it's an LA. Did I order an LA? Yes. So. Asiatic lilies are um, a certain variety of lilies. They're unscented, um, but they also have a cross between a longa, longa, longiforum lily and an Asiatic. So that's a cross, so it's an LA for longiforum and the Asiatic. So I did order LA lilies, which are the ones that the florists are typically wanting uh, other than the Orientals. But the LA lilies are, um, I bought a mix of those. So that will be, I think about 400 in that mix. So I'll do one tray of these, one tray of Curiosity, and then I'll do two trays of the mix 
Um, so that'll be 80 lilies a week and that should be okay. Uh, I should be able to get rid of those between the florists and my markets and all of the above. So uh, we will see how it goes with the lilies this year. As long as the lily beetles don't come in my hoop house and inside my crates, we're good. So lilies, just FYI, if you break this off, it's probably not gonna regrow. I know it's not gonna. It's not gonna regrow. So if you break off a lily when you're planting it, it's a dud, don't even bother. So these are starting to wake up, which I don't love because um, once they start to wake up, <laughs> it's hard to slow them down. But I am gonna put as many as I can in the refrigerator to keep them um, at least maybe slow them down from growing so that I can have a few successions of them. Hopefully I'll get at least a four week succession of them before they start to go crazy and just grow on me. I spaced them two weeks apart last time because you don't want all of your lilies coming out at once because lilies are very fragile once they start to open. So the goal is to harvest them when they're closed and get rid of them before they open. Otherwise you have breaking lilies on your hands and nobody wants that. Okay, so that's what's happening with my lilies. I'm very excited to see how this experiment goes and I can't wait for your lily season to begin again. Begin again. So I'm gonna get the other crates prepared and get more lilies in the crates. So anyway, thanks for sticking around guys. We'll see you soon. Do 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 do